Hi, my name is Ben Calhoun. I'm one of the technical co-founders of EverActive, and I'm also co-CTO. Hi, my name is Dave Wentzloff, and uh, I'm one of the technical co-founders of EverActive and uh, co-CTO. And at EverActive, we're developing self-powered um, energy harvesting wireless sensing solutions for the industrial IoT. The Internet of Things has been promising for a long time the ability to monitor spaces, environments, and assets and to provide information in a remote fashion back to people who need it so that they can take action in response to that information. Fortunately, existing solutions make it really hard to do this at a large scale. And that's predominantly because they use batteries. So if you think about what you need in order to do widespread remote monitoring, there are lots of places where you want to sense. Thousands of places, tens of thousands of, of assets or nodes, particularly in an industrial environment like a manufacturing plant. So the solution has to be able to support active operation of devices in those thousands of locations. Also, you need to be able to do monitoring continuously. You want to have a flow of information that's nearly continuous so that if a problem occurs, you can react very quickly to that problem. And of course, the information needs to flow all the way to the stakeholders whose job it is to take action. Ben and I started the company uh, with the goal of revolutionizing uh, computing and ushering in the next era of self-powered computing systems. So we built integrated circuits that are extremely low power on the order of microwatts. That's a thousand times lower power than similar circuits that are available off the shelf today. And we can take advantage of that reduction in power to build continuously active electronic solutions for wireless sensing that are always operating, always active, continuously acquiring data, examining that data, converting it and, and extracting information from the data and then communicating it wirelessly back to the network so that it can be passed on to the stakeholders. These self-powered sensor nodes draw energy from their environment and convert that energy into usable energy for the wireless sensor node itself. So they use energy harvesting transducers like photovoltaic cells for harvesting energy from light or thermoelectric generators from harvesting energy from thermal differences than temperature and then convert that energy into use, a usable power supply for the wireless sensor node. These robust, flexible wireless sensor nodes then get deployed in the industrial environment to get access to those remote monitoring locations. This technology is a real game changer because it solves the remote monitoring problem. It allows customers to place thousands of devices in potentially dense environments to get information exactly for the assets they need that flows continuously to the, the end users. And EverActive has built a full stack solution to enable that. So we have wireless, batteryless sensors that use harvested energy and can be deployed in very large numbers. We've, we've also built the networking protocol that allows dense networks of these devices to be in continuous low latency communication with the network. The data from these systems flows back through our gateways over a mobile network backhaul to a cloud platform where the data is aggregated and stored and applied to analytics so that we can extract insights that allow action to occur by the stakeholders who are receiving information. Our target customer at EverActive um, would be an industrial client that has multiple manufacturing facilities uh, where at each one of these facilities has uh, perhaps uh, hundreds or thousands of assets that they ultimately would like to gain real-time insights on. And beyond just maintaining those devices, I think our, uh, we find our ideal customers also embrace the environmental impact of our sensing solutions. And um, I really take pride in the fact that uh, for every one of the, uh, for every steam trap, for example, that we are monitoring, um, we are reducing the environmental impact of um, that steam trap when it fails. The industries that we see can benefit most from this technology uh, really is only limited by the number of open doors that we can find. Uh, EverActive has started in the industrial space because there are a lot of interesting challenges there. Um, the customers that we're dealing with have many assets that today go unmonitored. And um, with our technology, we can, we can add continuous monitoring to those uh, assets and uh, tell them what's going on in their factories. As well, I think consumer electronics 
certainly comes to mind when you talk about the IoT. Uh, and there are a lot of interesting applications uh, in the consumer electronics space, uh, in particular for wearables. Uh, it's probably worth mentioning that really the, the, um, the spark that set this off for Ben and I was when uh, our two research groups had developed a batteryless physiological monitor that could monitor activity and heart rate and health, uh, but be powered just solely by body heat and communicate that information directly to a phone over Bluetooth. And that was something that had never been demonstrated before. And there are obvious, you know, applications for that, um, you know, both in medical uh, or medical care, uh, as well as just, uh, you know, fitness tracking and things like that. And, you know, one of the advantages of developing a batteryless solution is, um, you know, batteries are, are kind of temperamental. They don't like high temperature, um, you know, they don't like heat, they don't like water. Um, so they don't go through the laundry very well. Uh, whereas a batteryless solution, uh, you can think about something that could be integrated into, uh, you know, perhaps like a athletic shirt and be laundered just like anything else. And when you take it out of the drawer and put it on, it powers up and starts monitoring. So certainly there are consumer applications, but you know, you kind of go down the line, logistics. Uh, we're looking at adding localization technology to our next generation sensors. And with that, you can track things potentially anywhere across the globe. Um, so that can solve many logistical challenges of just finding finding items. So there, I think there's there's really just an an unbounded list of uh, industry and applications where we can apply this technology, and we're really excited uh, about what's coming ahead.